Have you done higher studies in your home country and wondered if going abroad is worth it? In this video, we have an amazing story of a student who did their MBA in India, but decided to go abroad to America to pursue a master's in tech, pivot into a new career, and we'll see if this inspiring story is gonna help you to figure out if this is the right step for you. Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Shine Coaching, I'm Rob. And at Chine Coaching, we love helping people be successful in their cross-cultural journey, especially for study abroad, career we've helped coach and guide thousands of students. We have an amazing story from Aisha, who's studied in India, now came to America. We're gonna hear all about her story and stay tuned to the very end because she has some very special tips and advice that you don't wanna miss. Aisha, welcome and please introduce yourself. Hey Rob, thanks for this opportunity. Glad to be here sharing my experience, my journey from India to US. I am from basically from Bangalore. I did my undergrad in electronics and communication. And after I completed my undergrad, I wanted to pursue my master's. But unfortunately, because of some family reasons, I could not do my master's and I decided to do my MBA instead. So I pursued my MBA in marketing and international business. And once I completed that, I also did, um, I started working for Acer as a management trainee, but my interest towards studying abroad was still there. So I, I wanted to pursue my master's and things were getting better at home. So I started preparing myself for GRE, TOEFL and started applying for masters here in US. Yeah, that's a long journey. Back in India, you know, what inspired you to do an MBA and, you know, what was kind of the MBA and work experience back in India like for you? So after I finished my engineering, I always was interested in studying something which has both technical and management. So MBA was the right choice and they had really good options where I could do like business management and marketing international business. Those kind of um, courses were inclined to my career path. And, um, and after I finished my MBA, I did land into a job with Acer, which was a pretty good experience. Awesome. And what was your role there at Acer like? Since I had just graduated from MBA, I got into as a management trainee where I got a chance where I could work in different domains like marketing, there was finance, there was sales. So I um, got an opportunity to work with various departments within Acer. Fantastic. Yep. So an MBA, that's great, getting some work experience, but it seemed like you still had some more things to want to do. So what kind of changed your decision to want to go abroad, even though you already had great things going on. And what was kind of your study abroad profile like when you begin applying for colleges? Tell us that process. Right. As I mentioned, I was always very keen to study abroad and I wanted to pursue further after even finishing MBA. Learning never ends, right? I feel like that's never ending process. So I started preparing myself for GRE to first during my uh, after my work hours i used to sit and start learning all the gre words i wanted to take in get into the fall in text so i prepared almost for like four or five months and i took the exam gre and TOEFL. um got pretty good scores started applying for a couple of universities and um got admitted in iit chicago for information technology and management took that university has a couple of my other friends were also taking up that course and Chicago is a lovely city. So um, it really helped me. Yeah. Uh, do you mind sharing yep. your scores and any other admits that you got? Yep. So I kind of um, was around 304 in GRE and TOEFL was around, I think 110. I had applied to three or four universities just because I was very sure which university I was getting into. I had University of Texas Dallas, University of Texas Arlington, then I had University of Michigan and uh, IIT Chicago. Got into um, University of Michigan and Chicago. So okay. as I mentioned, um, it, it was easier to choose Chicago just because of the city and mm -hmm. my friends were already applying there. So it made things easier for me. Yeah. Oh, great. Yep. Did you know that getting admitted into a top university isn't the only hard thing about going abroad? There's so much more that you have to do. Figuring out tuition loans, housing, Forex, and more is going to stress you out. But what if everything that you needed to do was just in one place? Cheers to a new online resource dashboard powered by Foreign Admits, which has everything you need to do to easily study abroad. Try the Loan Widget, which is like a magic wand letting you compare loan offers from over 15 banks in real time, saving you precious time and effort. With just a few clicks, you can see interest rates, loan terms, 
and other important details right on your screen and even send your application from within the platform. The best part is that it only takes two minutes for the loan widget to determine if your loan application would be approved or not from fantastic banks like Prodigy, HDFC Cordilla, Axis, ICICI, and many more. Save more time by utilizing other services like student housing, Forex transfer, bank accounts, SIM cards, credit cards, travel and health insurance, plus more. Check out the links above and in the video description to apply and get help today. I hope you can take advantage of this all-in-one study abroad resource platform to make your journey even more successful. And then there at Illinois Tech or IT Chicago, a couple different nicknames mm -hmm. for there. Uh, you studied yep. ITM, Information Technology and Management. Mm -hmm. Very popular mm -hmm. program, kind of hybrid of both technology and business. So tell us, what was the course curriculum like? You know, what were those key kind of subjects and focus of studying that program there at IT Chicago? As I mentioned, I was very interested to study something which has both technical and business management and ITM was the best course. Um, it is also called MIS, which is Management Information Science. They had courses like Big Data, um, Database Management, you had Networking, I also studied Stats. So those kind of courses really helped me um, as I had not studied that uh, back in my engineering since it was electronics. It opened a lot of different career paths for me, taking up this a balance of both technical and um, business related courses. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There at the college, what were kind of your opportunities and experience with on campus jobs and internships? I think there I had a lesson learned where I should have applied for on campus jobs way before coming into US because um, by the time I came, all the on campus jobs were taken. So I think people who want to pursue further and want to do some kind of on-campus job, I would really recommend them to look into any available on-campus jobs uh, prior to coming to US because in that way you can apply and um, if you get uh, approved, uh, probably you can start working as soon as you come here. That would help with your rent and a lot of other expenses. Yeah, and did you do any internships while you were studying your master's? Yes, I did. I started uh, working after my first year of master's here. I got a job at a company called Prospero where, where I got, uh, I started working as a quality analyst. It was a one year internship, learned a lot how to get into a different ex experience working for a company here in US. So it was a good journey. Yeah, yeah. And was that a, a summer internship that got extended into a co-op for another semester? Yep, yep, yep that's right. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Well, my friends, if you were learning a lot in this video like me, hit that like button to say thanks to Aisha for telling her journey, her story. And our chai question for you guys in this video is, what degree do you wanna pursue abroad? Let us know in the comments, tell us what degree, what program are you considering? She did the ITM kind of MIS program there, IT Chicago, but let us know, yeah, what degree you're considering abroad here in America. Now we wanna talk about mistakes and lessons learned. What were some of those uh, mistakes and lessons learned that you experienced, especially pursuing mm -hmm. kind of a yes. tech industry as an international student? Let me give you some lessons learned. I would not say mistakes because after coming here, it's more about learning everything. So lessons learned where don't think it's going to be easy. You have to be very independent from A to Z. You have to do everything. I think back in India, it was very easy to be dependent on your family, friends, and everything is available for you. But after you come here, it's more um, you have to take care of yourself. You have to um, do everything independently. So be prepared for that. I, I was happy that I got a bunch of good friends. So I did not think it was that difficult. But lessons learned would be apply for on-campus job as soon as you get admitted in a university that would help you look for internship. As soon as you um, are done with first semester so that you can start preparing, I would say start giving interviews as soon as possible. That will prepare you as well, um, because I did wait for the last minute to start giving my inter interviews for internship. Keep your LinkedIn's up to date. That way recruiters and companies can approach you. I love it. Some great tips. Yeah, it's all about starting early. Um, yep. A lot of students start late, especially in the job search. So yeah, it starts day one in America for on-campus jobs, internships, LinkedIn. So I love those tips. 
my friends, we're going to be making another video as well with Aisha, um, talking about how to get hired, um, talking more about her job search, how to grow as a leader and in management, and really just how to grow and develop your career in America, especially in the tech space. So check out that other video. It's going to be awesome. Talking more about her career um, and the things that she's learned there as well. Aisha, thanks so much. It was fun to kind of hear your journey, starting back from India to bringing you to study um, here in the States. So I really appreciate you sharing that. No, absolutely. And thank you so much, Rob, for giving me this opportunity. This was great. Love to have love this it. kind of conversation and motivate people. So thank you. Definitely. Just a friendly reminder to check out our study abroad dashboard with dozens of resources to make your journey even smoother. Get your tuition loan secured, housing booked, bank account open, and much more accomplished today. Click the link in the video description to save time and money right now. My friends, be sure to connect with us online on social media, like Instagram, LinkedIn. Make sure you're subscribed to the Chai and Coaching e-newsletter as well for great tips and resources and events. And thanks for being part of the Chai and Coaching community. We love having you guys tune in and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.